Alrighty, it shows us your tips. Solo Saturday preview for myself. Today, with the beaver being indisposed and my contingency plan hungover, unfortunately. So, stuck with me. I've got the beaver's tips here, so I'll read them out as we go. And uh, we'll see how we go. We've got the last day of the Melbourne Spring Carnival to preview, as well as the Newcastle meeting. Now, they're on the road for the, I guess, the out wide tours the next few weeks. Uh, but we'll kick off at Caulfield for the Thousand Guineas Day program. Track's good. Rail's in the true position. All systems go for Caulfield. And it's uh, not a bad little card. We're going to kick off with the 1800 metre handicap. We're going to stick with the form stayer of the B plus staying ranks this spring in Ain't No Deal Done. Absolutely flying. Mark Zara uh, jumps on board. So nothing, no issues there uh, with Billy Egan jumping onto Dunkel. Uh, but I think it uh, will win and win well here from Dunkel. Uh, as I said, Billy Egan's on it. The troll is fantastic coming here. I think they're the two main chances. Uh, an upset wouldn't shock, but I think the market's in the right order. And I'll start the day by backing the favourite here. Beavers, tip number three, Ulysses, which in what I suspect might be a typo. But a good start for him for the day. Uh, the second is a 1,400 metre benchmark 84. Interesting little race. Uh, and I'm going to... I'm a bit shocked that Forbidden City didn't come up favourite, first of all, uh, because probably deserves to be and could well jump favourite. But uh, I'm going to have something each way on both the Hayes runners here in uh, I'm a Shelby and So Risque. I'm a Shelby had to sit three wide uh, at the Valley. It was brave and still in the finish there. There's been a pretty, pretty good all prep apart from the issues at Ballarat. It takes up a nice enough spot again from gate 10. Um, should push forward and a great deal of speed underneath. Uh, and he can run well from So Risque, who was just never got a crack at him up the straight. First up at Maui, uh, never missed a place. Second up, out to 1,400 metres. Retain excuses in the pass at the distance. Uh, both are double figures. I'm going to play around both of them each way, whether also try and cover Forbidden City in a book, I'll think about, but that those two will definitely be my main results. Uh, the Beaver is with number four, Meridius, who had no luck first up uh, and can improve off that. The third is a 1600 metre benchmark 80. And I'm just going to go with the rock solid on Pacer, who's flying at an each way price here in Rhinoceros. Uh, since it's got out to the mile, since it's linked up with Jacob Noonan, it's going really well. Uh, it's going to be right there and to be making a few of these have to chase. $9, I think it's a fair enough price. From Mr. Mojo Rising, uh, we'll be in Jamie Carr's happy place there, just lobbing outside lead or 1-1. One, one. And uh, it was a nice win at the Valley last time out. Can bounce off that and uh, run well again. And I've got to watch on Alambra Lad. Uh, resuming at a price, but trial uh, with Dunkel was quite good and might be one that can run into a place uh, looking for a bit further, but just honest. And actually has some surprisingly good stats over the mile back in NZ. Beaver likes uh, his horse, Two Bay Shaw, who did the job for him last time out, and he's sticking solid there. The fourth is the first of the group races, the Group 3 Thoroughbred Club Stakes, 1,200 metres for the three-year-old fillies, and Saltier deserves a win here. Uh, just flying. Um, behind seconds behind two horses that I have a big opinion of. Now just meets the right on the quick backup had a cup week meets the right field to to win this. Uh, Blake Shin on it's gonna if we're in the game with swoopers, uh, I think it'll win and win well. Uh, from Lover Zoo, who's a big price and was buffeted by the wind, as I have talked about before at the Geelong Cup Day card. Uh, I think can run well if we're in the game with swoopers. And commemorative was just in the wrong part of the track last time out. Is better than that than where it finished. J Max on for better or worse. I think that's next best. Uh, the fifth is an 1100 meter listed race. I'm going to take on the favourite here in Shagripa, who's been winning well over in Adelaide. Not sure in the strongest of company. Uh, and I just think there's a lot of pace here. And I'm going to look for the, the stalker and that being Barber, who was just too far back last time out. I think car taking over from McDonald's a good change for this horse. Uh, with Similion, Shagripa, Hypothetic, and definitely Indian Pacific all pushing forward, uh, it can just be the swooper that's going to be in the right place, right time, and get back to the winner stall from Hypothetical. From gate one, I'm hoping Mickey D doesn't get too excited, but uh, gets the stalking run and is the main danger for me. 
It is Beaver Luck there. He's with number five in Barber as well. So he's with the uh, blue colours too. The six is the 1400 metre Catnac Jewelers Blue Sapphire Stakes, where I'm going to stick with the form out of the Coolmore, <coughs> pardon me, which is Arkansas Kid. Last time it was here, won well with Ollie, getting a nice run camping off the pace. I think it does the same thing. Um, couple will push forward from out wide, you can tag across, and all things being equal, I think that is the best form line. And we will see Ollie ride a winner in his last day in Melbourne. The main danger, I think, is going to be the instructor from gate five. Leads gets, uh, don't hope, do riding shotgun, and he's going to be right in the finish. He's been kept fresh for this from last month, and I would suggest we'll fight out the finish here. Uh, two key hopes for me in the six. The seventh is the group one feature, the thousand guineas, as just quickly Beaver is tipping Arkansas Kid as well. The seventh is the, yes, the group one mile for the Phillies. Uh, and I've nailed my colours to the mast for Cor Volante for the last couple of runs. I'm going to stick solid. I like the fact that it was able to take up a position on pace last time out. A great ride by Blake Shin. And I like the fact it's now shown at Versteli. Going to get a similar run here. And I think it's just a talented little girl. She's going to run really well. Uh, Skybird was brilliant last time out. Deserved equal favourite and may well jump fave. Um, is obviously the main danger. Uh, Ursa, I have next best. He was a big price, but it's now going to be the hard fit one. Three runs at a mile and at 40s uh, will definitely be in my quaddy, which we'll get to later. The eighth is the other feature, as just quickly Beaver does like number seven in the seventh, which is Zurion. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, one at a price there for Mickey D. The eighth is the Rupert Clark Stakes 1400 metre handicap, and the other group one on the program. But Beaver's with I Am Me, uh, and guess what? So am I. Uh, I think just gets a great run here for Blake Shins. a horse I've probably underrated over the last uh, well, a lot of its career to be honest but the four mounts stacked up win over airman uh chased imperatures last time out and i think just gets a great run buffalo river is gonna tag across on the outside there uh i think it just lobs across with it gets in the perfect spot we know how good blake is on these stalkers and around the eight nine dollar mark i think it's a great great play here uh from straight acer coming down from sydney another one who perhaps i've underrated but sydney form uh some good runs its last time out, most recently fourth in the Golden Eagle. And Magic Time, next best, who just had to sit for a wide last time out, gets Mickey D and will be the one producing that big sprint late. Good race. Looking forward to see how it pans out, but interesting we've both come up with the same value play there. The ninth is the 2000 metre Country Cups final. And Beaver is with number 11, Red Sun Sensation. Uh, I'm going to take it on. Actually, go with one of his horses in Mac Two, but I think it um, is flying here. I like Blake McDo. I like Gate Three. Uh, I like the fact it ran down Keats, who over its career has made some group horses work very hard to beat it, and uh, sets up perfectly. It's on top for me. Has Miru Massa form. If you go a bit further back through there, from Braden Star, going really well. Ollie in his uh, second to last race in Melbourne. We'll be up for this one around nine dollar mark. Uh, Captain Envious, the other danger at a price, and we're going to wrap up the card with Beaver's best bet of the day, which is She Dances number two. Uh, I've got it on top as well. Just she's just bulletproof. She's going to bounce on the bunny. Meech can lead, or she can sit just behind the leader, uh, and is just a, such a rock solid mare that uh, you have to put her on top. From Rose Quartz, who was on the inside there, and that did no favours being on the inside at Flemington. Uh, does need to get back to the winner's story. He's now becoming a bit of a gunner. Um, for anyone that follows my tips would know. But she's still a danger here uh, in a good race to finish the day. Uh, let's have a look and see how we go in terms of a core field quaddy in the first leg, which is the 1,000 guineas. I'm going to go number two, Cur Volante, three, Skybird. And in a field of price here, 10, Anna's Dream, 11, Ursa. Second leg, one Valana, four wide last time, now an inside gate on top. Uh, two IME, three straight Acer, 11 Magic Time, 
16 Road to Arataki. Third leg will go three Braden Star, Force for Zero, five MacTube, six Captain Envious, 11 Red Sun Sensation, 10 Convener. And we'll come home with one Queen of the Ball, two Sheet Answers, three Rose Quartz for Unusual Culture. For progetracing.com.au, the Beaver's Best on the day is race 10, number two Sheet Answers. Mine is race four, number two Saltier. And my vape is race three, number three Rhinoceros. Uh, just a quick plug for Progret Racing, of course, while I just load my best bets back up for Newcastle. Check them out for their free tips, extensive guides, and everything going on uh, around the traps there. Uh, also, just a quick plug for the PCTC tipping comps there. Summer Dash kicks off this Saturday if you'd like to take on Beaver and I at the Tipping Caper. Uh, and many people have told us how bad we are at it. So you can uh, take us on head-to-head. -head. Um, there's some cash and free competitions there. Uh $50 buy-in, uh, the little spring carnival just wrapped up, um, where my missus owned me by about 100 points, so I might say something about all of that. Uh, it kicks off, check it out, it's a lot of fun, and uh, a great comp has been going for about 10 years. Let's head to Newcastle, where the drying soft track is in play for the first of the provincial tours here. Rails true, uh, standard Newcastle, I think, uh, plays pretty fair. I've, I've found a lot of on paces, slightly nervous about it because we they can swoop and uh be dangerous in doing so as this day progresses but let's see how the afternoon pans out we kick off with the max lee's classic 900 meter sprint for the babies and love the trial of market magic chimed in ran away looked powerful uh, looked exactly like 900 meters is going to suit it for tim clark it's on top from graham who was saved from the english race last week where i did like its trials there uh, we'll have a job to reel in this leader at 900, but definitely a horse to watch. Uh, this other blue colour horse might have a bit of ability as well as they gets further out in trip. The second is the midway, a benchmark 72 mile. And I'm going to go with Resistible here, who control who led the four pillars and led it well. I ran quite well in that race. Only Swamp late from gate three gets control of this. This is a much weaker field and can hold on and win. Uh, the main danger toes on those gets Nash after sitting four wide in that same race and uh, with a bit of cover will run better but is another one that's now putting together a string of uh, not winning which doesn't always fill me with confidence. I think there's a tail to this race. Uh, two key hopes there. Third is... A 1600 metre highway, class three, and not the most exciting highway we've ever seen. In fact, it's a bit of a weird field, uh, even by highway standards. And uh, sound the alarm because I'm going with rematch on top for the Masara stable for Nash. It is it was good last time out. Uh, a log, looks a lion chase, looks a nice big horse. And I'm going to have it on top from Sate Chicken, who's had a couple of runs at 2000 up in Queensland. I think back to the mile suits. There's not a lot of pace here either. And Josh Parr, I think, can push forward and get the 1-1. One, one. I think it runs well around a six. If that's only six bucks, but uh, similar to the previous one, I think there's a tail here and with pretty much no metro form to speak of. Um, two from four for me there. Uh, you'll be shocked to learn that Beavers tipped the Paul Massara runner in rematch in the third for the record. In the second, he's also tipped Resistible. And in the first, he's also tipped Market Magic. Uh, 1,400 metre benchmark 78 is up next. Not entirely comfortable with this race, but I'm sticking with Nash jumping on Petre, who's going to lead. Uh, it was good last time out for Tommy Berry. Uh, I know Annie beat Gringotts, who didn't really cover itself in glory since, but gets control and Nash, and it's obviously two big ticks. Uh, so on top for me, I wanted to find a Birth for Zoe's Promise, uh, having had a bit of a feel for it first up, where it was, I guess it was just okay. And now I'm starting to think it might just need one more. Uh, as a horse in a previous life, it may well want a wet track too, by the way, um, that I had a bit of an opinion of. So we'll just see how it goes, but we'll make it to danger here in a, an uninspiring 78. Where the beaver has made number three portray his selection. Number five. Uh, race five, in fact, where 1800 metre 
Benchmark 88 is his best of the day. I'm in to win. It's also my best of the day. I'm in to win. Uh, I wrote five letters in my notes in this race, and they are M-O-R-A-L, moral. If it bounces to the front, it will lap these. Uh, yeah, best of the day. Not much more to add. The six is the Beauford handicap for the stayers. And at a bit of a price, I'm going to put stroke of luck on top. Number five, it's flying. I think it's going really well, this preparation. I think there's another, this is another race full of numbers. It has to carry Zach from an outside gate. So yeah, not exactly a real comfortable spot for me at the moment. Uh, but I think the horse is going well. Uh, it's on top from Numerian, who gets Hippo, gate one, control. It was good last time. The horses that beat at home would all start favourite here. Renaissance woman. Uh, who else beat home with Zarek in that same race? Uh, would both be very, very short, I would suggest, in this market with all things being equal. So it is the main danger. Can probably cover both, to be honest, and that's what I'll do. Next best, some fresh blood in Andalus who uh, went away to the provincials and got a nice kill there. Uh, not much more add from the Beaver. He's with Stroke of Luck too. The seventh is the three-year-old Spring Stakes over the mile and... Uh, well, it's a group three in name. Beaver's tip number nine until Valhalla. I went up and down here and I've gone, which is side to go with Gay, unbeaten, invincible spy. Has had some style about it, has led admittedly on suitable tracks twice, but has fought off challenges and just looks to have plenty of upside. I'm an invincible horse on a dry track. Another tick, uh, Sly Boots, main danger, given none last time. He's better than that uh, and does bring the actual metropolitan form to this race. Around the nine dollars, looks a fair enough danger to me. Next best, kind words. One well at Hawkesbury, we're out there. Nice style of a horse, and I think might be going places. The filly, so wouldn't shock me to see it run really well here. The eighth is the feature, the thirteen hundred meter million dollar hunter, where the Beaver is with number six, Cole Crusher, and I'll tell you why. Because unbelievably, I'm tipping it as well, but he's now third up. Both runs have been good, but now third up. Blinkers go on which is always go time for Joe Pride. I think it gets control here and will run, uh, bounce off that nice last run into a race that doesn't have many chases. Uh, and I'm going to make a fresh horse the danger here in Dajran. I think fresh and I think dry track is the key. The trials have been good again this time in. It's going to be on pace and its best can uh, blow this field away. We don't see it all the time, but I imagine it's going to be primed for this uh, in a million dollar race. In terms of chases, I had a long, spent a long time Thinking about King of Sparta, long time th trying to work out what to do with Gravina, uh, and I do like far too easy, and perhaps uh, with Jay Collett flying at the moment, it is next best. The ninth is the, 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 another mile match, in fact, a benchmark 78, and Beavers with number 11, Tavi Time. Daggy's author with number 11, tab Tavi Time. I'm glad I asked him for his tips. Uh, but was just in, under dabble wraps the whole way up the straight there at the Kenzo track. Uh, never got a crack of him. I think if it gets clear air here for Dylan Gibbons, who could have a, ho a, a nice day out, uh, coming back, I guess, to a home track of sorts. Uh, runs well for Chris Lees, who also has, tends to have nice days out at his home track. But, yeah, it'll win this if it gets clear air. I think it's better than his field. Uh, man behind the money is a nice horse. It was saved from the midweeks. Uh, interested to see it resume. That's about it. It's a sweet worse. He did win last time, but there is that. The tenth is a benchmark ninety-four, where I'm going to finish with the two on paces in much, much better and Fearson. If I can find a way to cover both, I will. Uh, but for the sake of putting it in order, I'm going to number six on top. Fearson uh, just nabbed by a real good horse in Grabini last time out. Uh, comes here, sits outside the lead. Uh, if not, can push forward and control if it wants to. Yeah, it's going to run well, much, much better bouncing off a win. Uh, I imagine with the claim, it won't be messing around. It'll be pushing forward and run well as well. Beaver likes Capistrata. Uh, blinkers went on in it, uh, got me out of trouble on Cup Day. So uh, respect that. Uh, in terms of for progroupracing.com.au, a quaddy from Newcastle. Let's have a look through this. Uh, first leg. Three Invincible Spy, four Sly Boots, seven Heads You Lose, nine Until Valhalla, 14 Kind Words. Second leg, 
one Mazu, three King of Sparta, six Cold Crusher, 15 Dash Ran, and 11 Far Too Easy. Still skinny up now in the third leg. One man behind the money, 11 Tavi Time. And let's come home with one much, much better, two acquitted, six Fierce Sun, seven Capistrata, and eight Kabling. ProGroupRacing.com to you. My best is race five, number 12, I'm in to win. And my value is race 10, number six, Fearson. Now, let's have a quick look at Queensland. And the King of the North has sent us a couple here. We've got race two, number five, Rising Pacific. We've got race four, number four, Hell of a Body. Race seven, number five, Lost in Transit. And his best for Queensland is race 10, number one, party for two. What else have I got around Australia? At Ascot, get us out late, race eight, number one, Oscar's Fortune. In Adelaide, race two, number four, Poison Chalice. Race four, number one, also clear. And one for Kembla, uh, which was a horror watch last time out. Race six, number four, Egyptologist. I've got a feeling it might start short. Uh, but should be winning there. Thanks for putting up with me. Hopefully the Beavers is back next Wednesday. Check out progetracing.com.au. Subscribe via our YouTube channel. Uh, search for Show Us Your Tips on Spotify if you want to listen on the go. And uh, you can find Show Us Your Tips and Progret Racing on all socials. Good punning this weekend, guys. Take care. Talk soon.